You are now tuned in to the new spot. I'm your host, Rimrod, and I'm gonna be taking you to some of the hottest and newest spots in the city for you to try. You ready? Let's go. You wanna try something new? Take me to the new spot, new spot, new spot. You ready? Take me to the new spot. I wanna try something new. Right now, we're in the Grove for some Southern hospitality. I hope you said your grace. Driver, take me to Grace Meat Plus 3. You wanna try something? Grace Meat Plus 3. I'm ready for some comfort food. How about you? Let's try it. Let's see what this place is all about. Let's go. Oh man. How we doing? How you doing? Man. This is Rick right here, owner of Grace Meat Plus 3. How's it going, man? Welcome. Just another day in paradise here. Hey, it smells wonderful in here, man. Seeing the good people of St. Louis. <laughs> So what you got going on, man? How you come up with the name Grace Meat Plus 3? So Grace is like a prayer of thanks or a reminder of God. It's also Meat Plus 3 is like you go through, uh, Meat and Threes were a traditional kind of cafeteria where you'd walk through, pick a meat, and three sides. As I grew up, I just really got into cooking. So, oh, so you've been cooking for a while? Cooking for a long time. So I heard this is like Southern comfort food, man. Correct. So it's kind of like to us is that it's food that should be reminiscent of maybe something your mom or grandmother made We're cooked, but exactly. not quite the same way. Okay, you, know? you put a little twist on it? A little twist. So, I mean, it smells good, man. It looks like this is where you come in to order. Yeah. I mean, show us around, man. Let's go check out the kitchen. Let's go check out the kitchen. Y'all ready? This is where all the food after it comes up kind of gets the final touches oh my goodness. before it goes out. So. This looks delicious. We, we're going to be sinking our teeth in some of this here in a little bit. Really? So. Yes, sir. All right, Show us, man. We're going into the kitchen. I hope y'all ready for this. It smells super amazing. We use family, small family owned businesses and farms. Wow. Uh, we got our meat loaf. It's our smoked meat loaf searing away on the flat top right here. So where's a lot of this inspired from, man? Things I've grown up eating over the really? years, yeah, places I've been, you know, like absolutely. sometimes it's the season. Like right now, Ooh. it's spring, so we have asparagus, we've got peas, we got carrots. So what's your best seller here, man? Fried chicken, which we're gonna fried we're chicken. gonna feed you a little oh, bit of that. Fried chicken. Some One of my say favorites. The best man. Fried chicken in St. Louis. So Woo! We'll see. We're gonna see what this is all fried about. Y'all ready? Man, Rick, it looks like the food's coming up. Alright, so this is our chicken livers appetizer. This is one of our real popular appetizer we do. This is some of our uh, famous Nashville style hot chicken. Hot chicken. So this one, yeah, this might burn you up a little I bit. I love hot chicken. Yeah. Some of our uh, slow cooked greens. We Collard cook, greens. Oh yeah, we uh, make our own salt pork, make a smoked pepper vinegar. This is our turkey fat mashed potatoes. This is our uh, crackling cornbread. So we, uh, Make a traditional southern cornbread. <laughs> we pour it in the cast iron with the uh, crackling salt pork, oh and then goodness. glaze the top of it with a little caramelized honey. Man, you gotta come here hungry, man. And then you gotta have dessert. Oh so my this goodness. is our, this is kind of a riff on a, a moon pie. You know the traditional yeah, the kind of pie? Yeah. yeah southern uh, snack. So this is like a graham cracker cake. Okay. A little chocolate cremeux some pliable chocolate, and uh, some whipped marshmallow, and salted dolce de leche ice cream. Jeez. So typically, like some people will just kind of uh -huh. smash them down on the toast and pick it up and, and dig in there. Some people cut them up. I'm gonna eat it like this. Yeah, man. just grab it. So this is, what kind of liver is this? These are chicken livers. Chicken so liver. From Buttonwood Farms here in California, Missouri. You a livers guy? First time. First time, you like them? Wow. This has a lot of flavor in it. Now it's a different taste. It's my first time eating liver. Alright, so it's crunchy. It's kind of got a slight like minerality to it. Yeah. That's the liver. Okay. 
We soak them in buttermilk, we dredge them in flour, mm -hmm. we prime. That kind of sweet and tangy. I'll taste that. With all the little dried fruit, that's a mustarda. So this is like a dried fruit mustard. And then we just top it with some pickled onions and picked herbs. So the way we do it here is you pick a protein, in this case it's a half chicken. Okay. And then you pick however many sides you want. We're known as a mean three, so you gotta do the three sides. Three piece. So, so you got your, I hope you're gonna eat a piece of this chicken oh, with I'll me. I'll eat a piece of chicken with I'm gonna go for the wing. I'm a wing guy. Get after it. Got the pickles on top. So this is hot chicken, I hope it doesn't burn me. It's gonna have a good kick, but you know, it's not, not too terribly hot. Oh man. You gotta do a little cheers. Ah. This is the fried chicken you want, trust me. It's golden brown. Fall off the bone. You know how the meat has a lot of flavor to it? The breading adheres to the chicken. This is perfectly seasoned. When I say perfectly seasoned, I mean perfectly seasoned. It's not too spicy, has a small kick to it. Honestly, it's pretty addictive. What do you do to make it hot? So we have a blend of uh, uh, habanero and ghost chili that we bloom with some of the spicy, uh, some of the hot oil. Really? Yep. And that's how we, we kind of kick the heat up. The pickles, you know, they're there to kind of cool you down a Whoa. little bit. This chicken is amazing. So it's turkey fat in the potatoes, fried chicken gravy. So we actually fry our chicken and then build a gravy out of it. The scallions on the top? Oh yeah, you're gonna love it. Whoa. Good potatoes? This is a meal. I love collard greens. Let's see what these things are all about, man. How long do you let these sit? You know, they take an hour or two, but we cook them till the stem breaks down. Whoa. Y'all need somewhere to come on the weekend? This is it. Come during the weekend, doesn't matter. Southern food at its finest. The chicken oak? <laughs> it is the star of the show around here, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. So it's can you do plus two? Plus one? Yep. Or do you, you have to do plus one, three? Two or three. One, two, or three. Mean. You might want to do plus three, trust me. This is it. So graham cracker cake. Okay. Little chocolate mousse, little whipped marshmallow, some pliable chocolate, and this is some salted dolce de leche ice cream. It'd be somewhat reminiscent of a moon pie. That's delicious. You have a hit here, man. Make sure everybody comes here and checks it out. This is a place to be. Grace Meat Plus 3. Rick, we appreciate it, man. Thank you. You have a good one, man. Perfect. Woo! And John here, man, tell us how y'all like the food, man. Dude, it is phenomenal. The, the, the spicy chicken is yeah. That's what I'm saying, the chicken. Dude, it is on point. It's like y'all had some ribs, two out with the ribs, man. Uh, they were actually really, really good. Wow. Love the red one. Next time, would y'all come back? Absolutely. Delicious. The cornbread was delicious. Excuse me, y'all from Metro PCS? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what y'all what think about the food here? Dude, great, man. Great. What y'all have? Chicken, ribs? Ribs. 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 Catfish. Catfish. Would y'all come back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo! As you can see, I had to get a doggy bag to go. Couldn't even eat it all. Delicious. Bag. Take me to the <laughs> no, new spot. New spot.